So welcome back to the next part. So we are continuing from where we was, we stopped. And now we are at what? The place and the place value. The place and the place value. Now, every digit in a number has what? A value. Every digit in a number has what? A value. Up until now, you know that a digit is just what? A symbol of what? Representation. So now we are saying that place value is equal to the digit multiplied by what? By the place or the position. The place or the position. That's what? Place value. And like I said, this, what is the place of this? Once. Good. What is the place of this? Tens. What is the place of this? Hundreds. Good. So you've been able to identify what? The place. Now we are seeing what? Place value is what? The digit multiplied by what? By the place or the position. So let's take three, for instance, in this number. Hmm? We are taking what? Three. From this number. So we have what? 3, 1, 2. Isn't it? Now, what is the place of 3? The place of 3 is what? The place of 3. 100. Good. That's what? 100. Now, multiply by what? By the digit. What is the digit? 3. That gives you what? Now, 100 means what? 100, isn't it? That means 3 times what? 3 times what? 100. Gives you, giving you what? 300. Okay, so I'm leaving this one here because this is our reference point. Okay? This is our reference point. Let's assume we have what? 3, 5, 1, what? 6. We are saying to identify or to know the place value, you need to what? Multiply the digit to the what? To the place or the what? The position. Now, up until now, you know the position of each and every what? Digit here. Right? This is the whole number. But you know the position of each and every what? Digit. And I'm saying, what is the digit for? For six. This is what? Once. Right? What is the value? The place for one. Tens. Don't forget, ones means what? One, isn't it? Tens means what? Ten, isn't it? This is what? Hundreds. So we have what? Hundred, right? And this is what? Thousands. So we have what? One, three, four, zero, right? Now, to identify the place value, dig it times what? The position. And you already know the position. Right? So now, let's assume we want to know the place value of five. So, place value is equal to what? The dig it. What is the digit here? Five. five. Right? Yes. Multiply by what is the place of five? Hundred. So you multiply by what? Hundred. What is the answer? Five. Yes. So the place value is what? Five hundred. But the place is what? Hundred. In exam, you can be asked, identify the place and the place value of the following digits. You should be able to differentiate between them. So the place only refers to what? The position. Hundred. Or it is tens. Or it is in ones. Right? But the value, you must multiply it by the place. So 412. Four, one, two, 4, 1, 
0.29. We are going to write the place and the place value of each and every what digit. Okay? This is the number. But we're looking for what each and every what digit. So let's begin. What is the place of nine? The place is what? Once. What would be the value? The value is what? Nine times one. Giving you what? Nine. Two of us. Good. What is the place of two? Tens. So, what is the place value of two? Two times ten. Giving you what? Thank you. What is the place of uh, one? Hundred. Good. So, uh -huh. one times what? Hundred. Giving it what? Good. What is the value of four? Sorry, what is the place of four? Thousand. Thousand. So, the degree is what? Four times thousand. Giving you what? Four thousand. Do you understand me? Good. So, now someone is asking me to make my comments. So, that shows you guys are following. So, if you want to now read this figure or this number, how will you read it? You read from here. 4,000, right? 129. 4,129. Do you get it? Now, so if you understand this, what it means is that you can write this figure in words. And you can also write from words to what? To the figure. True or false? Do you get it? That is as simple as you can think of when it comes to what? A place value and the place and the place value. Now, quickly, so that we'll be out of this topic forever and ever. Okay? Now, let's compare two numbers. Comparing what? Two numbers. Comparing two numbers, whether this number is greater than this number or is less than this number or they are equal to. Alright? So, two important rules. Rule number one. Count the number of digits. Count what? The number of digits. Count the number of digits. I believe you know what digits are, right? Yes. Digits are just what? Symbols representing what? Numbers. Right? Good. So you count, for example, let's say I have two numbers here. Two, three, four, and then four, five, six, one. Okay. How many digits are here? Three. Three digits, right? How many digits are here? Four. Four digits. So the one with the highest number of digits is what? The greater. Two of us. Good. So what it means is that. The sign that you're going to use here is what? Greater than. Or, so this is less than that. Or that is greater than this. Do you guys get it? Do you understand? Rule number two. Let's assume they have the same digits. How will you know? So, rule number two. If they have the same digits, what you have to do is that you compare... They are what? You compare the numbers from the far left. You compare what? The numbers from the far what? Left. For instance, if we have 2, 3, 4, and then we have, let's say, 4, 1, 2. 
So if you look at it, how many degrees are here? How many degrees are here? Three. So over here, you can't say, oh, it's greater or less, isn't it? Now, compare the digit at the far what left. Which one is greater? Which one is greater? Yes. The right one, isn't it? Why? Because four is greater than what? Than two. So automatically, what would be your answer? This is less than because, but 412 is greater than 234, but 234 is what? It's less than 412. So depending on where you are reading it, that's when you say this is greater or this is what? Lesser. Do you guys get it? Now, what if the first digits are also of the same? Then you move to what? The next one on your right. So first, you begin from the left. Then if the first digit are the same, then you move to your what? To your right. Do you guys understand it? Sean, do you understand it? Are you sure? Good. So let's say we have two, three, six, one. And then we have another one as two, three, two, one. Okay? So you first you ask yourself, how many digits are there? Four, four. So you cannot differentiate them or compare them by what? By digits. So since they have the same digit, you move to what? The first what? Dig it on your far what? Left. What dig it is here? What dig it is here? So you can use that one. What dig it is here? What dig it is here? So you can use that one. What dig it is here? What dig it is here? Oh, so at least six is greater than what? Than two. So automatically, this whole number is greater than what? That. So you use your what? Your greater than what? Sign. And that brings us to the end of the basis in mathematics or the fundamentals that you need to know. So there will be test for you all. For those watching us far off, there will be a description. There will be questions in the description box. So do well to get them and solve them. And in our next class, we will go through those questions and see how far we have gone. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comment section and keep sharing so we can reach out to more people. Stay at home and be safe. Thank you.